Okay, so here we are with two other hors d'oeuvres for our party with a purpose. Um, since it's around Thanksgiving time, we thought the best way to do some hors d'oeuvres would be to utilize some of the best things that are in season right around this time of year. So for example, a lot of your squashes and your root vegetables, that kind of thing. A lot of these appetizers are things that you have that are in season at this time of year, but you can also substitute. If this, if you, let's say you're not a fan of butternut squash, you could substitute in another root vegetable if you like turnips or, pars or parsnips. You know, I, that kind of thing. I love how you pour to me when you say, if you don't like root vegetables. <laughs> I don't like root vegetables. Nor do I. I but that's either. fine. Okay. I have to say, though, I'm interested to see this, so let's okay. do it up. So anyways, what we're taking basically for the first appetizer is a quesadilla. Very easy. Um, a wonderful appetizer that's such a crowd pleaser. And what we're doing is we're going to give it a little bit of a fall twist. Okay. So what we're doing is we took, um, in this case, a butternut squash, just about this size. I sliced it, I, uh, I de-seeded it, and I peeled it, and I put it up in cubes, put it on a baking tray, threw it in the oven at 400 degrees, and in it I put a sliced up red onion and a, three cloves of garlic. What did you do, just chop them up? Chopped them up, okay. tossed it with some olive oil, threw it in the oven for 400 degrees until it gets soft, okay. mm -hmm. basically. As I said, if you don't like this in particular, you can throw in any other kind of fall vegetable. Okay. Works beautifully. Throw it all in there. Once it's roasted to soft perfection, you take it out, throw the whole thing, including the, um, the garlic cloves, into your blender and puree it. And you get this lovely puree. What you do then is you take two quesadilla slices like this. What I've done is I've already done this for you, but you, you, you spread a slight bit of the squash puree on there and then what I also did is I put on because I like a little crunch in my quesadilla right. I put on a little bit of uh, red pepper Ooh. raw red pepper chopped up and then some cheese obviously every quesadilla has cheese of course right. so then what I did is I put them all together then I took it and I pan fried it butter on each side flip flip and what I did is prior to the party I did all of these and I put them in the refrigerator when the party time comes, you can just put them on a baking sheet, slide them into the oven, okay. and when they come out, for how long? Have here. I just basically until they're crisp and warm through. So what, like okay. five minutes? Five minutes, ten okay. minutes doesn't matter. Depends on your oven temperature. Okay. Basically, I put it in with other things that were in the oven at the okay. same time. Then you slice it up with a pizza cutter. Jocelyn, I'll let you do the honors. Good, because you're scaring me a little with it. <laughs> you don't and then like wielding the pizza cutter at you. I don't. No. And you can serve it with a little bit of sour cream, Alexander. If you could drizzle some uh, lime juice into there. There. If you feel like you need a little more heat, you could put some adobe um, and chili, chilies in adobe sauce in a can, okay. but it depends on you and the amount of heat that you'd like. But basically, these are great party pleasers. They come out crisp, crunchy, and as you can see, you've got the beauty of the squash, the red pepper, and you serve it with this sour cream dipping sauce in the center. Oh, nice. It's delicious. And small little mom trick, I hate these things because you know I'm not a fan of Jerry Seinfeld's wife, but I did in fact slip it by my child the other day oh. and told him it was just simply quesadillas and he had no idea there was a squash in there. Fabulous. I know and honestly I had to tell him at the end, I go, I tricked you. Um, one last thing, if you feel like you have still lots of herbs in your garden like I do, I have sage coming out the wazoo. I threw some sage in. Perfect. Okay. It's up to you. Whatever you'd like to put in there, it's an easy variation of a quesadilla. Very easy. Very okay. Nice. What's okay, our next one. Very easy. Everybody knows about an onion dip. What we're going to do is a different kind of onion dip. It's your basic sour cream. You take about a half a container of sour cream and a little cube of um, cream cheese. Right. Mix those together. What I did is I fried up a pound of bacon, chopped it up. A full pound of bacon. A full pound of bacon. I don't skimp on bacon. Oh, That's why I love it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We don't skimp on bacon or no. mayonnaise. No, we don't. No, no. Bacon's salty and it makes me thirsty. Keep going. <laughs> yes. So what I did is I fried up the bacon and then I took the bacon out, put it on paper towels to drain it. Whatever. Kept some of the drippings and in the drippings I sliced up a leek and a red onion. Okay. Red onion in both, as you notice. I sliced them up and I sautéed that in the bacon drippings. Delicious. Gives you some good color. Gives too. you some That's nice good. color, and you've got a fabulous new bacon onion dip, which is fantastic and tastes nothing like anything that you've ever found in a store that you've bought. Okay. And could I serve that on a on a bagel the next morning? <laughs> you so could, by the way. Can you smell it? 
You could put chives in it. You could put whatever basically is in your refrigerator. Ooh, yeah. That's the best. Yeah. Now, the best part, though, is how we serve it. Okay. So I took an acorn squash, in keeping with the theme, sliced off the little hat. Hello. And basically just put this face down on a, um, a frying pan. So, and then you fill me with dip. <laughs> but show how it caramelizes and it looks look so really pretty. Nice. And then what we do, Jocelyn, scoop it into there, scoop it into the part of the acorn squash. You put this on for a little presentation. And it looks so pretty and it looks so fall festival. You just serve it with crackers. It's so easy. But again, this is one of those dips that you can literally yes. look what's in your produce drawer. By the way, I throw away a lot of produce. I buy a lot of produce and I throw a lot away. So every now and then when you're making one of these types throw of dips, in, throw yeah. anything in. Okay. Same with the quesadillas. You've got another uh, vegetable in your crisper that you want to get rid of, throw it in. And Gorgeous. if your foolish guests don't eat it all, the next morning you and your husband, <laughs> on the next morning over, there you go. Spread it on a bagel. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Fall festivities. Come on.